Okay, in this question, we've got a function k, uh, so f, and it's defined to be 3x take away 1, where x is a real uh, number. State the range of f. Again, I would straight away be drawing the diagram there. You know that the exponential graph looks something like this. That's normally y is equal to e to the power of x. Um, the, what has the x take away 1 done? Well, that has done nothing other than shift the curve to the right by 1, so it would look something like that shifted to the right by one and the three. Well, what's the three done? Well, the three has stretched in the in this direction, so the three would make that point instead of being a zero one and zero one here, it would now be zero three, like that. So the range is what it was for the exponential, the normal exponential graph. F of x is bigger than zero. Be careful not to make the mistake and saying it's bigger than or equal to zero. Find an expression for the inverse and state its domain. Now remember the domain of the inverse will be the range of the original function so you already know what that's going to be it's going to be x is bigger than zero but let's find an expression for it. So we're going to state that y is equal to 3e to the power of x take away 1 we're going to swap the roles of x and y x is equal to 3e to the y take away 1 we're going to make y the subject so divide by 3, x divided by 3 is e to the y take away 1. We're going to take logarithms of both sides. So logarithm of x over 3 is going to be equal to y take away 1. And therefore y is 1 add the natural logarithm of x over 3. So you state your inverse function. The inverse function therefore is 1 add the natural logarithm of x over 3. And we know the domain is equal to the range of the original, which, which we've done in part A. So it's x is a member of the reals, but x must be bigger than 0. And that's that part. We've got a new function now, which is a linear. 5x take away 2. Find in terms of e, g of f of ln 2. So let's state for part c what g is again. g is equal to um, fx, f, uh, sorry, 5x take away 2. And let's write what um, fx is again. fx, what is that? 3e to the x take away 1. And we're asked to work out g of f of ln 2. So we want g of f of ln 2. So let's do it in stages. Firstly, what's f of the natural logarithm of 2? Well, let's put it in here. It's 3e to the ln 2 take away 1. E to the, uh, um, so what's that going to be? We could break that into 3 e to the ln 2 multiplied by e to the negative 1. Okay, and e to the ln 2 is 2, so 3 times 2 is 6. It's going to be 6 e to the negative 1, or 6 over e if you like writing it in that form. So therefore, what's g of f of ln 2? Well, it's going to be g of 6 over e, putting that in. So let's put that into this here. So it's going to be 5, 6 over e, take away 2. And so that's going to be 30 over e, take away 2. Next part here, we're asked to um, solve the following equation. So let me just take a screenshot of this, just to make my life easier. We're asked to solve this equation here. I'm going to move down here, paste that there, solve that equation. Now, there are there are two ways to do it. Firstly, what you could do, do, do we have an expression for the inverse? Uh, we have an expression for the inverse, and we have an expression for g. So you could substitute g into the inverse, make it equal 4, and solve it. Or, um, so maybe I'll do both ways just to show you the two potentials here. Let me do the easy way first. If you're solving f inverse g of x, equals 4. I think it would be a good idea to apply f to both sides. If we applied f to both sides, f of f inverse just gives me what was what I'm putting into the inverse first place. So we're solving g of x is equal to f of 4. Okay, now g of x is 5x take away 2, so 5x take away 2, and f of 4, well we put 4 into this, it would be 3e to the power of 3. So 3e to the power of 3, add 2 to both sides and divide by 5, x would be equal to 3e to the power of 3, 
add 2, all divided by 5. I think that's very simple. Alternative is to put g of x into the inverse function. Now remember g of x is equal to 5x take away 2. Remember f to the minus 1 of x, we've worked that out. What did we say it was earlier? Is 1 plus ln x over 3. So 1 plus ln x over 3. So we're going to put g into this. So f to the minus 1 g of x is going to be equal to 1 plus the natural logarithm of 5x take away 2 over 3. And we're going to make that equal 4. So take away 1 of both sides. So natural logarithm of 5x take away 2 over 3 is going to be equal to 3. Take exponential of both sides times both sides by 3. Add 2 and divide by 5. We get the same thing. I think that was significantly easier with a bit of thought there in advance. And we're done for this question.